This is one of the rawest travel experiences of my life. So I, I don't do it, do it. I shouldn't do it. Yeah. You, uh, you got something there. For the last few days, we've been staying in a giraffe manor, and now we're going to the next safari collection property, starting right here. The terrain has changed so dramatically. We're now fully in the desert. It's a lot flatter and a lot hotter, but I'm not complaining. Aren't you supposed to? Yeah. Full name. Hello. Hi. Hello. How are you? Wow. New journey begins. It's time to change the wardrobes a little, eh? Hi, Michael. Nice Hi, to meet you. So Michael is our guide here with Sasab, and it's time to board the desert cruiser. Guys, check it out. Do elephants like being in the desert or is he lost? No. This is a nice country for him. He got plenty of food. This is insane. There's a dried out riverbed and inside of it, a fam jam of elephants. Here's the reality guys. We've been so fortunate to have been through three different countries on like at least 10 or 12 different safaris. And it's amazing that still to this point, we're just getting these new and fresh experiences. This landscape has totally changed the game. We're seeing so much, and we're only like 30 minutes into our drive. It's unbelievable. Guinea fowl! There's so many of them. I'm so happy now. <laughs> Welcome home. Thank you. Wow, look at that. Literally an oasis. Hello. And what on earth? This literally looks like paradise overlooking the river. So here we are. We have made it. I think everyone's needing a good lunch right now. We're pretty low energy. We've arrived here at Sasab, which as you can see is all inspired by the North African Morocco architecture. I think it's beautiful. Can I help you there? I mean, I'm, I'm happy with carrying it. Just at least for the video, you know? Just <laughs> yeah. make it look like you're actually doing something. This is so stunning. So it's all tent style here. You've got a beautiful bed, a little tiny lounge area, a yard. So apparently the elephants like to come here to get their drink. Really? Mm -hmm. Now, the best thing about the entire property is that it's right here on the river. And this river was bone dry just two days ago. You know what the most exciting thing is about this resort? Sunblock is included. Oh, it's brilliant. I'm, I am looking a little sun kissed. You look like you made out with the sun. Absolutely stunning. That's our privacy spear? Yeah. Nobody's okay. That's a, first, that's a first for me. Oh Henry, oh my this is Henry. Goodness. Yes, this is Henry. This is Henry. Henry, do you want some? Do you know them all? Some of them. <laughs> How can you tell it's Henry? Because you see the uh, one horn is like uh, shorter, it's like yes. cut. And this is Penny. One of the few animals that are anti that are like monogamous. So they stay together in pair for life. Wow. Yeah. We just had the most delicious fudgy wudgy brownie no but for real these brownies are insanely so, delicious so good it's like adrenaline injected back into my heart i needed that let's go i have so much more energy than i did when i first got here all right let's get this adventure started and it starts right okay. now oh, okay. wow meet me oh wow hi guys uh, you're natural, Chris. Woo! This is my first official camel ride. Okay. This is yep. chewy. Alright, I'm gonna lean back. Oh god. <laughs> wow. Oh my god! Hello. Yours is definitely Chewbacca. This is Chewbacca. Oh, that's Chewbacca too, apparently. So the camel is actually one of the ways that the tribe have for many years gotten around this very dry and arid landscape. And one of the fascinating things is the way that they dress. So you can see here, Kopiro has actually got incredibly colorful jewelry. He's got a necklace on. What does it mean when you have this little necklace hanging around? To show that you're a warrior. To show you're a warrior? Yeah. Wow. 
Hands straight, you lean back. Okay. All right, yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> that is high. Like Holy. <laughs> These are substantially bigger than horses, and you don't realize it until you're sitting on it. This is Tempest, and Ruby's riding Morocco. Hopefully Tempest doesn't have a temper. All right, buddy. So this is a safari like none other. We actually have a ranger at the very front. He's got a semi-automatic weapon, which is just a deterrent if ever we were to come across a predator. But, you know, we've seen antelope, we've seen jackals, we've seen all sorts of other animals in the distance. It's such a great and refreshing way to go on a safari. So the area we're in right now is actually home to one of the most lethal predators of the animal kingdom, and that's the leopard. And the best way to protect yourself, if you're a baboon at least, is to get up on top of Danu Nanyaki, that's the name of that rock up there. And that's where they hide at night. It is a scary world out here to be a little creature. And look at that beautiful sun ray. Is this how you're supposed to ride these? Don't think so, mate. All right, camera seems to be alive. That's a relief. Oh, for a quick second there, I was like, I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> There's no easing it in. It's just go time. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my man. I love you. So a new term I've picked up here in Kenya is called sundowners. Basically, it's getting a position to celebrate the end of a day, watch the sunset. And luckily, Sasab has brought all the supplies that we need. Wow. wow. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Look at this. This is as close to Pride Rock as you'll ever get. Wow. This is so beautiful. Africa is so beautiful. Oh my goodness, wild dogs. I'm definitely still in Africa. Come down lower. Come here, you. This trip across Africa has given me some of my most beautiful videos ever. And that's really become the best asset that I own as a content creator, is an endless database of incredible footage and photos. But getting that footage has cost me hundreds of thousands of dollars and six years of my life. The great thing is, you don't have to do that. You can get access to all the copyright free footage that you'd ever need for your videos, for your projects, whether it be for yourself or a client, and it's all available in one simple place. That's storyblocks.com. I've been using Storyblocks to fill in the holes in my stories whenever I have them. If I'm missing a shot of a gazelle, a lion, if I need a shot from Norway or from Japan, if I need a shot of a mechanic or a dude who's just fed up of his finance job, I can go to storyblocks.com, search the database of over a million plus copyright free shots and just like that, I can keep going on my project, never wasting a moment. And that's the beauty of Storyblocks. So if you want to see what Storyblocks is all about for yourself, then check out that link down below. And I can tell you that from six years of making videos, once you try it, you'll never turn back. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Look at this. Setting up our little nomadic bar. And this incredible view. Kopiro is setting up a fire. This is so cool. I'm not going to say no to a meal up here. your sunset. Mm -hmm. It was absolutely immaculate. We're overlooking the entire valley, the river. It's so peaceful and quiet up here. You see amazing, beautiful colors. Thank you so much. Can I? Good times only. Good morning, guys. It's game time. How are you, Michael? You. Very good. Early wake up call. <laughs> Morning everybody. Today is going to be a very amazing day, despite the weather, which is very rainy and cold. I think I would have packed a little differently if I knew this would happen. I was feeling optimistic. I was like, it's going to be sunny, it's going to be warm, but we got blankets. So we're learning the hard way today that the rain scatters all of the wild animals. After driving though for about an hour and a half, maybe two, we have found our first real big game sighting. This is the sweetest shot I think I've ever gotten. There's these three little kitties just hanging out with their mama. 
It's so cute. Remember you guys were curious how I'm getting these shots. Uh, we've actually been using a tripod for the really distant ones and this is a 150 to 600 lens. It's been such a game changer on the safari for shooting as far as like the distant animals which are like basically every animal. In situations like this or shooting with the gorillas, it allowed us to get so close without being so close. On the other hand, it's really not fun to travel with this piece of gear but it's worth it. Are we here? Yeah. Can you bring me my breakfast? Sure. <laughs> they said this is the warmest place in Kenya. And it looks like we brought the cold with us because it's another gloomy, rainy, cold, windy day. We're trying to make the most of it. Uh, we just arrived here for our bush breakfast. This is one of my new favorite plants of all time. It's a palm tree that has multiple heads that come from one stem. Apparently it's the only species of its kind in the world and it's found right here in northern Kenya. So I was just asking Michael like a little bit about the Sumburu people who are the local tribe here. And one of the interesting things when we were on the camels yesterday is that not only do they eat camel meat, but they actually eat camel blood. Is that something that's still practiced? Yeah, still up to now. Do you want to try some? I'm okay. You don't know about that? And they even made me gluten-free pancakes. So sweet. Oh, did they? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's nice. Yeah. Focaccia, sausage, let's eat. Hey guys, do you know how to get back to the resort? We're, uh, we're kind of lost. No one? Guys, check out this beautiful spa area. I am just about to go for a quick treatment, but I was not expecting such a beautiful space. This is actually a yoga area. Boop, 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 boop. And right over there, is the riverbed. Wow, my massage was absolutely immaculate. Divine? I feel divine. I feel so relaxed. She hit me right in the, the, the good places. I feel relaxed. My pressure points were all hit. I had this incredible view and the sound of nature. Very luxurious. Well, enough about that. It's my turn. Mm hmm. Bye. Have a good time. I'll see you in a bit. It's time to go. So, this is a sick transition. So apparently, we're gonna need these. Room, room. All right, we're roaring, we're soaring. And it starts right now. Have you driven this before? What are you doing? That is so much fun. It's such a perfect condition for it. And I'm just over there. It's the children from the village. I think the hotel has kind of said they have a little surprise for us and I'm guessing it has something to do with that. So the hotel has set up an incredible experience for us. Tonight we get to see the Sumburu people do one of their ceremonies, one of their rituals. Out of all the tribes in Kenya and even in Africa, this is one of the tribes that has remained one of the most pure to their original traditions. To get to see how things have been done in their culture since the beginning of time, it's something incredibly beautiful and I'm here for it. So in times of war, they would actually use this hyperventilation technique. And by doing so, they would basically bring themselves to an out-of-body experience. And this would give them more courage. It would eliminate some of the fear before going into war. And so this is a part of their rituals even today, in dance, in song. It's very beautiful. <laughs> This is very special. Cheers. Very unique experience. Tea and some Merlot. So guys, uh, I have some good news. Good news is the ceremony was amazing. Bad news is this guy is not taking his goat for a walk. Oh, I don't want to see this. 
blade is being sharpened. The goat was suffocated and it's no longer suffering. I think it was actually hopefully the best way for it to go. But it's all about the blood shed. I didn't know that was part of it. This is a, a huge experience. I did not expect this at all. You look a little pale. I think I'm vegan now. You literally tell me that you always try everything. I'll try it if they're, offer, if they're offering. Can they offer? A, is that the yeah. thing? Can yeah. you try just? Look, can you drink it from the? Or is that, I, I don't do it. Do it. Yeah. I shouldn't do it. Yes. <laughs> Should, I do it? Should I do it? Should I do it? This is you traveling the world. This is your chance. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I feel like I should do it. If they're happy, if it's not, if it's not rude. Yeah, they're very happy. Oh, like, yeah. Okay. I'm so sorry, buddy. Just a little bit, you know? What, what <laughs> Just a tiny bit, it's very warm. Thank you. Asante. <laughs> That's me trying a bit of uh, goat blood. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Can I get a bit of the whiskey? <laughs> I'm more of a whiskey man. I think I'll stick to, to, yeah. to good old whiskey. You're gonna it's try very, it too? Just, okay, ju uh, just to warn you, it's yeah, very you warm. It. Wow, you guys are crazy. <laughs> you, uh, you got something there. You good? Uh, yeah, I'm doing good, I'm doing good. Oh, a bit of kidney here. That's like one of the better parts. Like this. <laughs> oh, you- Whoa! The whole thing. <laughs> is there a second one? Yeah, this is a second one. Uh, it's very raw. I mean, my God, I, I go to the supermarket and my meat is prepared, but I've never in my life seen this. I've always felt too squeamish, I've always looked away. Today I feel like it's, a, it's time to just man up and yeah. see what it is that happens. I personally am not an adventurous foodie, nor will I try to be today. If Ruby, I did it, would you, you do it? There's no way you would do it. If I did it, would you Ruby. do it? Ruby! No, I, I wouldn't actually, I still wouldn't. Oh, then, oh. Oh, God, you could get Ruby uh, to do I still wouldn't. Do it. Robbie, okay, so grab, grab that side. This is a kidney. 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 Oh, I go, oh, I'll just go for it then, okay. Very sweet. <laughs> very, yeah, very different. Um, salty, like salty. you said, salty. Um, <laughs> it's it's very raw. It's very raw. Could do could do with a bit of olive oil and garlic. I don't know. I don't know. I'm very uh, grateful for the experience today. Yeah. Beautiful day today, and we mm -hmm. got to watch them do a very sacred ceremony. A totally, radically different way of living. Comes up there with the Hadzabe experience. A lot yeah. of very raw and first experiences Unfiltered with that. Unfiltered, real moments. Yeah. Mad respect. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. Have you ever seen people staying at the hotel do that? No. Drinking the blood, blood yes, yeah. but no. never the eating the kidney. No. I've never eaten the kidney in 12 years doing this. Never. Thank you so much. Santi Sana. Appreciate it. That was insane. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you want to see more from the Africa series as we travel a bit further through Kenya, then make sure to hit that subscribe button. Please, if you really like this video, all you have to do is hit a like. It's one of the ways to let YouTube know that this content should be shared with more people. And guys, let's get lost again in the next one.